What's up guys, Wildland1 here and today we are taking a look at the Legend Creation and this is basically a bootleg of the SH Figuarts Zamasu. So I got this on AliExpress for about $23 opposed to buying him like what 85 bucks now or something like that and you know I like the character not that much to spend that much money so I gave it a shot to get the bootleg one and I have to admit this is all I want him to do. I don't want anything crazy I just want to pose him up in the air with his halo in the background and pretty much this is exactly what I want and that is well worth the 20 23 bucks that I spent but we will get into more detail with this figure I watched a couple of reviews on him so I know what to expect and what to be uh, looking out for basically so he's not a perfect figure by any means however for what I want him to do some light posing, some ACBA, I think it is perfect. Uh, so let's get into it right now. First off, here's the box that came in. Not bad, it looks like a standard SH figure arts box. It has a nice, uh, pretty much is a replica of it, if anything. Uh, here's the back of it, looks pretty cool. Not bad. As for accessories, he does come with a lot of accessories, which is really great. Uh, he comes with his mutated arm right here. He comes with a couple of different arms and ha uh, hands as well. Right there, the mutated half face, of course, an extra face right there, and of course the mutated uh, neck. If you want to switch out for the mutated look, you switch that out as well. So a lot of accessories. All this for 23 bucks, also including the figure, of course, and you do get the halo thing in the back. I'm gonna call it a halo thing. I don't know what else to call it, but now the figure itself does not come with a stand. You do have to have your own, but I'm pretty sure everyone does have one. Uh, but he does come with the Halo. I'm going to call it a Halo right now, whatever you want to call it. Um, it also comes with an adapter that you stick on and put it on his back right there. Alright, so here he is in the flesh. And I have to admit, he's a pretty nice looking figure. I think just as a posable figure, as a display figure, this is not bad at all. You have to understand his limitations because he is a knockoff of the real SH figure arts figure. So he won't have the same uh, articulation, won't have the same quality in the sense. But honestly, if you're just going to have him pose and sit on your shelf really pretty looking, it does get the job done. And I'm pretty satisfied with mine. Uh, first off, let's get into the looks of him up close. And you look at that, that is a very clean looking figure. The eyes look really clean, it looks really nice. Uh, he has a, all the details, he has the earrings on, even look in his hands. Every single right hand has the time ring also, which is pretty cool. Uh, the body looks nice, the outfit looks good. All this is rubber and kind of pliable, so it won't get in the way of articulation, which we will get into later. Uh, but for pure looks wise, like I said, this is a great looking figure. And just like any other SH figure arts, if you want to swap off the head or the face sculpt, you know, you just pop this off, pop the hair off. You will get the other Zamusu face on like that. There you go. Then you get the hair on. Perfect. There you go. Right. Now he's angry. Action pose, action face. Looks pretty nice. The hands do pop off too. A little ball joints. Little ball joints. Very little ball joints, but they are ball joints. And like I said before, every single left hand, or right hand of his, has a time ring on it too. So, it's nice quality and detail right there. Alright, so let's get into size comparisons. So I know a lot of people are saying that they didn't like the size of this figure. He's a little bit shorter. So here he is with the... Dragon Stars versions of himself right here, uh, Zamasu and they have Goku Black who are obviously a lot taller looking compared to him. Uh, not a horrible thing, you know, the, thing, the way I look at it is like, he fused together to be a, a deity, a god. So perfect size, whatever he wants to be, it doesn't make a difference to me, right? Uh, here he is with an SH Figure Arts Vegeta. And he's about the same height, give or take as Vegeta. And here is Goku right here, who in Goku would be just a, a little bit taller than him. Right there. He's actually not standing straight, but right there. So yeah, the size is whatever. So yeah, not horrible. Forgivable in my opinion. I, I'm pretty sure people would rather him being a little bit taller, but 
it's not a big issue for me. All right, so let's go into articulation right now because that's probably the biggest deal right now. Um, what sets us aside from you know an SH figure arts figure. So in my opinion, everything is pretty good on the upper body, right? The upper body is pretty fine. Everything is, is a ball drain ahead, which is okay. Uh, he doesn't have butterfly joints per se on the arm. I can actually pop this off and show you. Let me pop up this part. This is soft rubber as well, which is pretty nice. But he has a standard ball joint in there with a hinge, so it rotates all the way around, which is nice. He has a bicep swivel. He has two joints at the elbow right there, which are pretty good. And of course, at the wrist, he has a hinge and a ball joint and a swivel right there. At the body, it's a ball joint. And it's a little bit limited due to all the clothing he's wearing, but you do get to move it around pretty decently. I mean, honestly, it's fine. You know, like some of these figures from SH Figures have it, and you they don't have the greatest motion as well. Like even Vegeta, this one. This is an older one, but still, like he can't do anything really. So I wouldn't be too excited about that. Anyway, so going down, so that's okay. No problems there. You get to the the hips. So the hips. If you look at them, they look like the new hips that SH Figure Arts does come out with, but it's not. It's actually just a ball joint, and it's a ball joint. I'll, pop, I'll try to pop this off. All right. So it's a ball joint right here, and it's only to the side, right? So that's really limited. So like when like this Vegeta figure has a ball joint, but also has a nice solid hinge, but the ball joint is really uh, it has a lot more range, so you can do a split and stuff like that, and you can bring it down a little bit and whatnot to get all these different uh, articulation out of it. Well, this one literally is a ball joint, and it's only to the side of the hip right there. So you don't have a lot of range on it per se. So you can just, you could actually go forward, which is fine. You can go back, which is fine. You can go in and out, but that's about it. You can't go any more farther than this. So you can't not do a split. Uh, you won't really get some crazy kicks out of him. You can get some nice knees out of him. You can do that, like a knee pose. But that's about it. So he's pretty limited on the legs. So that's what could be a big downfall for a lot of people, I guess. But uh, if you know his limitations, then you can work with it, pretty much. Uh, he does technically have like a thigh swivel in there. So he, that's pretty nice. He does have two joints at the knee, which are pretty good as well. And at the ankle, the ankle kind of reminds me of a uh, Dragon Stars figure where it's just like a hinge down there, but it's kind of limited due to the the boot cut right there. So uh, he, he does have a ball joint basically, but it's limited. Uh, but it does rotate left and right, kind of pivots as well. And he also has a toe joint there, which is pretty decent. So like I said, limited but could be uh, worked with basically, so it's not horrible. All right, so since we have this part off right now, you could actually, like I said, you can pop on this. Uh, so you could pop off the left or right arm. Just be kind of gentle, I guess. Like that. And now you could take the crazy looking arm. I'm gonna do this off camera, it's a little easier. All right. Popped it in right there, and there you go. Now he has his mutated murder arm right here. Uh, not bad. So also, if you want to pop off the head, because we have to swap off the neck part right here, of course. And this is a little bit tricky to get off, but it's actually like kind of pegged in. So it does take a little bit of force. If you look right there. There is a little bit of a peg right there, so it kind of slots into the neck so it doesn't move around um, both of them, so that's pretty nice. Like I said, $23 for this figure versus $85. Of course, it wasn't $85. I'm pretty sure it wasn't $85 when it first came out, but whatever. Apples to oranges. So you pop this part in right there. Now he has the new neck, and we will swap off the head. Right, and now he has two different head sculpts to use, which are, in my opinion, really clean looking. Very nice. It has all the detail. He has the gooping skin coming off his face on the purple side. Very clean. It's a pretty good. So let's do this face right here. All right, so I always find it easier to get the head joint on 
first. That. Then we will do this. All right, and now we got the hair. There you go. Now you got mutated Zamosu ready to fight. And it's not bad. And even, like I said, the right hand always has a ring on it, which is fantastic right there. So this is pretty cool. You know, like I said, he doesn't have the greatest range in his legs, but you can work with it in a sense, you know. Do what you can. And if you're doing some light posing with ACBA, you could work with that. And just, you know, just having him on your shelf posing, uh, you won't have any problems with it, to be honest. And like half of these, you know, I come to a point in my life where like half of these figures, I'm going to be posing them, fooling around with them for like a day. And after that, they just stay in the shelf and you never touch them again. So what's the point of spending so much money on figures when you get them a lot cheaper? All right, so like I said, for 23 bucks fantastic figure is he perfect nope he's by far perfect but i think he's really good for 23 dollars look at him fantastic you know if you understand his limitations you can work with it if you look at this right now he is a cool looking figure that's a cool figure right there i like the pose and knowing me what i want with him i'm just gonna have him levitating with his you know his halo in the background and stuff like that looking pretty on my shelf in this play so I'm pretty happy with it. But like I said, he's not perfect. Let's talk about some things that don't make him good. Of course, I told you before, the hip joints are probably the biggest thing about this. You're very limited in articulation on the hips. Uh, honestly, it's not much different from buying a $20 Dragon Stars figure that could barely move, you know, either. So, you know, it's nothing new here. All right. Uh, but you do get a lot of accessories. All these accessories look nice. Like I said, the head sculpts are really clean. They are very nice. So you do get awesome accessories. Uh, but going into the murder, I'm going to call this the murder arm right here. So the murder arm is fantastic. It moves nice. You have no problems there. You do have to uh, watch out sometimes, at least for my copy. Uh, the bicep swivel does pop out a little bit sometimes, which is not a huge deal. Uh, pulling the arm out, uh, this happened as well. These are just pieces. You know, you could stick it back in. No problems there. Not a big deal. You could work with it. You're fine right there. Not a big deal. Uh, but everything else works nice. All the hands are fantastic. The face scopes are fantastic. Uh, I think it's a good it's a good figure to buy, honestly. Not that big of a deal for me. And he looks awesome. Let's look at that. And if I just had him there, you wouldn't even know that was a fake one, right? Everything looks pretty good. If I didn't point this out before, I said this um, like all of this gray material. Uh, especially down here and also on the shoulder pads, they're all soft plastic or actually the rubber. So it makes it nice and pliable for movement and articulation. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. I'm actually pretty happy with this purchase. Uh, I do wish his ankles were a little bit better to, you know, because sometimes I might have some problems problems with him standing. Uh, but like, like I said, it's no different from an SH Figure Arts, like these kind of, uh, feet joints right here the ankle joints you just you're just limited by the movement of like these ankle joints right here because like it's so hard right here and they don't really move up and down same thing with this figure so but you can work around it not a huge problem but yeah he looks cool so i would definitely give this a try if you are looking for a zamasu figure but don't want to spend 80 bucks on him right with the for the real one so also, I want to go over, I guess, durability, right? So, I mean, this figure is not an SH Figure Arts. Uh, it's not even a, you know, Dragon Stars figure. But, you know, Dragon Stars figure, in, in my opinion, are built pretty well. Even though, uh, you want to talk about durability, pure durability, they're built pretty well. Really strong figure. I guess throw this against the wall. I don't think it's going to break. Anything's going to break. It's pretty good. But with this figure, I do admit, I am a little bit more gentle with it. But I do understand... It's limitations and you know just if you just if you're just careful with some certain joints here and there uh you should be fine nothing should break like i saw other people that they just drastically just is it is it gonna move is it gonna do this you know you're so aggressive with it you're gonna break anything honestly 
Uh, so yeah, just, you know, you just be normally gentle with it, move it around fine. You're not playing with these figures, you're just posing them. Uh, so you should be okay. Actually, you know what, I would, like I said, how I'm gonna pose him, pretty much, right? Is with this, so if you have a stand... Like, it sucks mine didn't come with a stand. I don't know if it's supposed to come with a stand, but... Um, whatever. And this goes on the back. It kind of just hangs on... He hangs on it like that. Pretty much. Position this a little bit better. And that's cool. Just like that. Not a bad looking figure at all. So I also have a couple more coming. I have a Broly, I have a Trunks. Um, I think I have some other ones, but yeah, not a bad looking figure, which I'm going to keep saying. Uh, no his limitations, you can work around it, and just for a display piece, he works out pretty well in my opinion. So that's about it guys, I hope this was helpful, and uh, maybe you might want to check it out. And like I said, these are just figures, I think these are good for just figures that you just want to have in your collection, and you don't really want them to be primary, but you just want them for a couple shots. Uh, not a bad choice to go with. So that's about it guys. Thank you for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.